This book is about how Nordic societies are not only empowering women through their welfare states, but also unintentionally holding back women through the welfare state policy. And the book deals with the fact that Nordic societies in many, many, many ways since the age of the Vikings, since the Middle Ages, since early capitalism, have been the most gender equal parts of the world. But there's a paradox. And the paradox is when we actually look at how many women reach the top. One of the main conclusions in the book is that although large uh, progressive welfare states, although they're designed to help women succeed in their careers, they are also unintentionally holding women back. And the other one is that the celebrated Norwegian affirmative action laws that many countries around the world are looking at saying this is a good thing, this creates gender equality, has fallen flat. They have not created meaningful change in terms of gender equality at all. In Norway, all of the big uh, companies had men as managers. Eight years after affirmative action, all of them still have men as managers. So for the Nordic Viking tradition of gender equality to fully prosper in this modern age, it needs to be combined with a little bit more of uh, free markets and parental choice. Thank you and buy the book.